Tops IQ Overview and General Navigation Part 2. Tops IQ is the next generation community association management solution from Tops. Tops IQ combines the comprehensive management, accounting, and automation features found in Tops Professional and leverages the benefits of the cloud or hosted data. In this course, we will outline the different features within the management, reporting, communications, and internet centers of TOPS IQ, along with the navigation search feature, workspace manager, and customizing the appearance of the TOPS IQ grids. This course is recommended for all new users of TOPS IQ. In our first course, we went over the main IQ screen, including the community selector, the file center, the community center, and the accounting center. Our next center is the management center. Within the Management Center, you will find CCNR for violations and requests for architectural change, work order, gate security, pool, and mobile functions. The CCNR function allows you to view CCR records for the entire community from the CCR records grid or click on a record to open the CCR information window to view the specific details for that record including pictures, notes, and attachments. You can also process CCR letters for all open records where there is a letter action scheduled and process CCNR records in batches, including entering new records in batches, closing records in batches, and generating batch letters. Within the work order function, you can create and manage requests for service from homeowners, and view work order records for the entire community from the work orders grid, or click on a record, to open the work order information window to view the specific details for that record including pictures, notes, and work order costs. The gate security function allows you to manage visitors both temporary and permanent within a community and print parking passes for visitors and Manage owner vehicle information, including assigned parking spaces and parking sticker numbers. The Pool Pass function allows you to track all of the individuals within a home or unit and produce photo ID cards for entry into the pool, rec center, or any other common area. And finally, with Tops Go, you can upload your community data for access from the TOPS Go app so that it is accessible from your mobile device. Next we have Reports. Within the Reports Center there are Dashboards and Reports. Dashboards give a graphical display of the homeowner information within TOPS IQ. You can change the color scheme and select one that's more pleasing to your eye. You can also zoom in to a particular graph if you would like to see greater detail. These graphs and charts can also be printed so they can be delivered to the board or other interested parties. The reports area is broken up by the different TOPS functions. There are owner reports, Accounts Receivable, Reports, General Ledger, Reports, Accounts Payable Reports, and so on. Next we have the Communications Center. Communications is divided into two sections, TOPS iMail and Communication Tools. TOPS iMail allows you to compose a new email message, and view the communications history for a community. This communications history includes both emailed items and printed items. From the communication tools, you can 
Perform a search across communities for a specific email address. Print. Mailing labels and envelopes. Send mass emails or do a combination of both. Create and generate. Form letters and merge documents to send to residents within a community. Manage. Form letters across communities. And send phone messages to other TOPS users on your system. Our final center is the Internet Center, which is divided into two sections, Websites and Services. Websites contains online payments, where you can set up the communities who use online payments and upload from TOPS to the online payments service, and Community Website, which includes the web wizard to set up your connection from TOPS to the community website, the ability to upload from TOPS to the current community's website, upload to all communities' websites, configure community uploads, and visit the demo community site. The services area allows you to access the TOPS Internet Backup Service, to set up the service or to perform a community backup now, and through plugins, you can access the wizards for some third-party applications which are integrated with TOPS. If at any time while working in TOPS IQ you're not sure where the function you need to perform is located, you can always use the navigation search. Just type what you're looking for and TOPS IQ will narrow down the options until you find that function. Then just click on it and it will open for you. It doesn't matter if it's an actual function that you'd like to perform or if it's a report that you'd like to view. The search is a contains search. So as long as the search term is within the name of the function somewhere, TOPS IQ will find it for you. The Workspace Manager allows you to navigate among the different TOPS IQ windows that you have open. Just click on one to bring it to the front of the other windows. You can also right click on any of the windows in the Workspace Manager to access other options. Clicking on this little button up here in the upper right corner will hide the Functions menu. Clicking it again will bring the Functions menu back again. Within the File Center, under Setup, you will find Customize Settings. This allows you to customize the appearance of the different grids in TOPS IQ. To change from the default settings, click Choose and then select your font. style, and size. Once you're done, click OK. You can also adjust the height of the rows within the grid. If you'd like these to be your settings for all of the grids in TOPS IQ, then click Apply to All, and then click Save. Now let's open the Owner's Grid and see how it looks. Maybe not the best choice of fonts. If we go back to those TOPS settings, there are a couple of other options. If you would like the Community Dashboard to come up when you first log into TOPS, then check Show Dashboards on Startup and click Save. Now let's exit out of TOPS IQ and log back in again. We'll select our community, and our dashboard opens up for us. This completes our TOPS IQ Overview and General Navigation course. Thank you.